Well, we now live in a digital world, um, and of course this conference is about schools. So what, what does that mean for schools? Well, we teach kids at school about the physical world, so we teach them physics, we teach them about the chemical world, so we teach them chemistry. They all live in a digital world, but they need to understand how it works. So computer science's regard to what goes on in schools is it should teach kids how stuff works. More than that, it should actually teach them why it works. And most importantly of all, it should teach them how to make the stuff for themselves. Well, the BCS got involved a few years ago. I mean, we've always had a range of uh, qualifications that are around digital literacy. Um, but one of the things we've realised is that now it's incredibly important that we get computer science in schools, you know, to complement what we've been doing around the digital literacy stuff. So we found about CAS about three years ago, and uh, through Simon Humphreys and Simon PJ we got involved, um, and we've just supported it to the hilt as much as we can. Uh, it's people, you know, it's the teachers in schools that make things happen. It's the teachers that are going to make a difference. Uh, even though there are huge things going on around uh, Michael Gove approving a new statutory program of study at all key stages for ICT and that he has said in public how much he wants computer science to be in there with information technology and digital, digital literacy. None of that can happen without the teachers and it's the excitement and enthusiasm and just real energy that this conference creates which is going to make sure we can actually deliver on all the promises the rest of us go around making all the time. Since Michael Gove stood up and gave his amazing speech at BET where he said computer science is an intellectually challenging, rigorous subject that every child should have a chance to learn, the CAS membership has doubled. Um, just in, over the last six months, uh, just about a thousand teachers have attended 40 different events or workshops organised through CAS. It's absolutely astounding. It's uh, just phenomenal. I think they're going to take the world over. Um, but the, the growth is phenomenal, and what's happening is I think we've reached a real tipping point. Um, suddenly, um, government uh, departments and agencies see CAS as a body of real expertise that know stuff. They also see them as a group that can actually deliver on the ground. It's not just a campaign, it's a group that can create change, that can implement change in schools. That is incredibly valuable. Um, universities now are tremendously excited because there is a subject called computer science in schools, or will be from this year and next year. So that's made the universities tremendously excited about wanting to help with schools. And who do they look to to get that support? CAS, because CAS are there and they've been doing that work for the last three years. Similarly with industry now, I chat to a lot of people from various different industries, and they're all beginning to notice CAS. So it has reached a tipping point on every level, right across the board. Um, so I think the membership for CAS will become extremely large over the next few years, but more importantly, it's going to have the capacity and the capability to achieve even more in schools for kids, which is what really matters. Precisely. This is absolutely a grassroots organisation. As everybody says, there is no them, there is only us. It's what we do, and we are doing one hell of a lot, and it's fantastic to see it happening. And because of that, other people are drawn into it because they want to do stuff too. If you see an organisation that is basically a can-do, go-get-em organisation that's going to jolly well change the world, you want to be part of that and that's what CAS does and that's what CAS says to everybody, which is why it gets so much excitement from companies and organisations and individuals and schools and universities and governments as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much indeed.